Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Random Pets Laboratory Challenge! Here in The Sims 4, with quite a bit of custom content and a lot of magical mayhem going on for the Halloween month! Woohoo! Happy birthday, Mom! Halloween is my mom's birthday, and so it really means a lot to me to be able to celebrate it in as many creative ways as possible, including having a hippogriff actually show up today. So my friends, descending from our magic realm skies, we have a hippogriff. Yes, a glorious, beautiful hippogriff, and this is actually another one of Kalino's amazing creations. So everything about what you are seeing here has actually been crafted by her, including the hippogriff itself, which I downloaded from her gallery, as always. Highly recommend that you guys check out her, her website, her Tumblr, any of her resources, her Patreon, where she's been working on trying to make dragons. We'll have to see how that works out in the future. And we also have uh, a lot of her custom content evident in the beak, the beautiful head, so you can actually see the way it kind of comes together to look like feathers instead of ears, the glorious wings, and the gorgeous paws, where we actually have the front part of our hippogriff with the claws on the front, hooves on the back. I love it. I absolutely love it. I'm kind of tempted to change the tail, but I don't know, like a three-tailed hippogriff, a cow-tailed hippogriff, a tiny-tailed hippogriff. I've never really seen hippogriff, so I'm not really sure what's appropriate. So we're just going to leave it the super fuzzy tail, and I think that will work. But since it is a magical, magical time of the year, I wanted to try something special. So we're actually going to have our hippogriff descend from the cloudy, overcast skies as autumn spreads through the northern hemisphere of the world and meet Mike. So Mike is from a proud family of police dogs and he happens to be patrolling the neighborhood looking for any scent or sign of trouble when he finds a very large feather right in front of his nose. And I thought a German Shepherd would be great because Griffin, Hippogriff, and you know, has a G. Thinking about it as Griffin, German Shepherds, they have a G. And I was like, wait a second, I love alliteration and I love German Shepherds. You guys probably don't know this, but the name Siri actually comes from when I fostered a German Shepherd named Siri. Uh, yeah, it, her name was spelled with a C, but I very much loved her and she was super high energy. And I learned that it is fantastic to take care of a German Shepherd. They're one of the most intelligent species of animal I've ever run into, and I should say breed of dog. They are one of the most intelligent breeds of dogs that I've ever had the privilege of working with, but oh my gosh, are they ever a handful as a puppy? Nothing but energy and chewing up everything. She chewed her way through so many things, I am shocked that I even have shoes left, and that was with appropriate training and like her proper toys. Just, man, you turned your, your eyes for a second and she would like be into trouble. So I imagine my has grown out of that puppy chewing stage, but he has not grown out of that curiosity that can sometimes get him into trouble. So he wandered deep into the forest, sniffing after each and every one of the mysterious huge feathers that he could find, ready to confront whatever mysterious creature was going to bother the wonderful neighborhood that he and his family lived in. But to his shock, there, in the middle of a grove, perched on a dead tree, preening her feathers, was Dove, a creature like nothing else he had ever seen. And with his protective aura around him, Mike's clear dedication to his community, his clear loyalty, his intelligence, drew the extremely intelligent Dove's attention just perfectly. And so their eyes met, and as happens with almost every single one of our wonderful laboratory challenges, love was hatched. Or at least it will soon be hatched, as soon as we get some little eggs laid and we hatch up these pups. So, okay, let me go ahead and pull up some names for you guys and make sure that we have some good, there we go. Make sure that we have a good selection. And as always, if you guys want to end up becoming one of our randomized animals, all you need to do is leave a comment down below and your name may be used in a future adventure. So I'm so excited about this because there are so many aspects of the animal to inherit from the 
face with the beak to the wings to the legs on uh, what we can get from the hippogriff. Nothing special to have to roll for or inherit from the German Shepherd, but I have no idea how they're going to look. Are we gonna have winged German Shepherds? I'm, my, I'm going for German Shepherds with wings at this point. Imagine how much easier it would be for Mike to have like a patrol team if he had a flight crew, right? All right, let's do this. Let's lay some eggs into this nest. <gasps> Such a cute baby! Oh my gosh, is that what Mike and Dove's baby is gonna look like? <gasps> a little German Shepherd! Hi, little one! All right, guys, this is Victoria from Victoria. Thank you so much for your sweet comment, Victoria. Whoops, not Victoria. Victoria. There we go. And we're going to see what you're going to turn out to be. And you may be a flying puppy, which sounds amazing. You are a friendly, clever, curious little one. So if you are indeed going to grow up and have some wings, no doubt you will be a great benefit to your father as you patrol the neighborhoods. But all right, let's go ahead and add in another little one. You guys ready? <gasps> what? How freaking cute is this one? Look at this one. This is Galaxy Space. So Galaxy Space, I'm so glad that you enjoy these mix mashes. I don't feel the need to wake up at midnight to watch them. They release at two in the afternoon or one in the afternoon where I live. So wow, but I'm glad you enjoy them. Uh, this is a playful, smart, friendly little one. So Galaxy Space, you are just adorable all over. I have no idea how you got that coat. It might be hiding in the uh, hippogriff jeans, actually. So that would be kind of hilarious. But all right, so let's see. Oh my gosh. I'm just, oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. All right, that's adorable. I think that Dove is quite pleased with the way that her little puppy griffs, shepherd griffs, pup griffs, are hatching. So let's hatch up another one. Dun, 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 dun. <gasps> another one that looks like a little shepherd. We'll have to see how Jasmine grows up. So welcome Jasmine to the litter. I hope that you are going to grow up to have some wings. We'll have to see. You are an aggressive, lazy, curious little baby. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not really sure how that's going to play out but we'll have to see all right are we gonna get any of them that look like dove i'm really hoping one will hatch that looks like dove all right mike i'm sure you're quite proud of your growing family tree <gasps> we got another one that looks like this what the heck this looks nothing like either of them but it actually looks like a beautiful mix between the two of them i love it i absolutely love it and look at his eyes oh he's precious you guys, meet Shade the Mystic. Can I fit all of that? Oh, Shade the Mist. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and have his name be Shade. No doubt he has a little bit of magic with a name like that. And he is going to be an adventurous, friendly, independent little guy who may or may not grow up to have a pair of wings. Oh, this is so fun. All right, let's go ahead and roll this one. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Come on. Yes. Yes. We have one who actually has the coloration that Dove has with all of that detail. Look at how detailed this is. It must have taken Kalino forever to do. I am so freaking impressed by this. But all right, this little one is going to be Alicia. So Alicia, welcome. Welcome to the litter slash flock. Family? Nest? Nestlings? I'm not really sure how we should use our group nouns on these ones, but welcome to the family. You are a jumpy, loyal hunter who might be taking to the skies in just a moment here. Uh, and then let's go ahead and hatch the very last baby. So I'm actually pretty pleased because we have German Shepherds, we have Hippogriffs, and then we have a couple really adorable mixes of their coats that I haven't really seen before. So let's see what the very last baby is going to be. Oh, a little doe-eyed, adorable shepherd. And this one is going to be named Gotcha. 
after gotcha is life so gotcha i think you're in good company gotchas are extremely popular amongst many of our community members and you are a aggressive adventurous energetic little one who is no doubt ready to go catch some things of your own so all right guys this is the moment of truth as we mix and mash these jeans what will they grow up into being will they have wings will they have beaks only time will tell so let's do this mike Time to train your puppies. Victoria, you're up first. Let me go ahead and roll the dice to see if you inherit the beak, the wings, or the paws. All right, I know the answer. <gasps> she looks just like her dad. You would never suspect that her mother was a giant flying hip, or like a giant flying hippogriff at all. Nope. And you actually still wouldn't suspect it because Victoria, you, my dear, could practically enter some German Shepherd dog shows yourself and be completely fine, no matter your lineage, since you do not have the beak, you do not have the wings, and you do not have the feet. So a little bit, a little bit of a disappointment on inheritance there because I really wanted a winged German Shepherd. But Victoria, you're wonderful. All right. So let's see what Galaxy Space grows up into. <gasps> Galaxy space, what? It's adorable. I don't know why, but I just really, really love this body. I mean, come on. You've got all this fluff up top and then these spindly little arms. There's something ridiculously cute about that. And Galaxy Space did not inherit the beak, did not inherit the wings, but did inherit the legs. So speaking of spindly legs, let's go ahead and get those hippogriff legs added on right over here. There we go. And then we'll add in a little bit there. So those spindly legs were there for a reason. This will definitely help Galaxy Space run, if not fly. Uh, and I kind of like the mix. It is definitely catching my eye. But alright, so there we go. That's Galaxy Space. So far, I... I'm getting some difference in variation in the body, but nothing too dramatic, but we've only just gotten started. Jasmine? <gasps> Jasmine, you're super fluffy. Oh, she's precious, you guys. And Jasmine, the super fluffy German Shepherd who does not look like she could sneak into a dog show, has actually inherited the beak and the wings. Yes. Yes, yes! We do indeed get the beak! Oh dear, and the ears are really, really not having it, are they? Hmm. Let's go ahead, we'll go and give her the normal ears, because that one's not gonna work. So we'll just give her like the normal beak with normal ears, uh, just because the other one's not gonna work at all. And then she does get the wings. So let's find her some glorious, glorious wings that match. I'm gonna give her these brown ones. Yes, I'm gonna give her those brown ones. I think she looks lovely with them and she did not inherit the legs So we do have a flying German Shepherd. She definitely looks like a bit of a chubby chicken um, But she's adorable. So Jasmine welcome Welcome to the skies. All right, that puts me in quite the good mood I just wanted at least one flyer. You know what I mean? All right and shade you are up next Oh, look at you! Oh, the little cow tail! Oh, Shade, you're so cute! And Shade has actually inherited. You guys ready? And actually, like, there's something about Shade. I feel like I'm looking at a dog that I've seen before in a cartoon, but I'm not sure who. Huh. But Shade, oh, that's so cute! Has actually inherited the ears and, or like, the kind of ear beak combo and the legs, but not the wings. So this is how Shade actually turns out looking. Not really sure what we have here at all, but I'm kind of intrigued. This is definitely a unique mix. This is where things just start springing out of the forest and you have no idea what kind of chemical has sunken into the ground, but it's kind of interesting. Oh my gosh, Jasmine. The more I look at Jasmine, the more I'm just falling in love with her. All right, let me roll again to see who inherits the whatnots. All right, I've got my answer. And Alicia, let's go ahead and grow you up, my dear. <gasps> She's so pretty. She's just like her German Shepherd daddy with a bit of a cow tail and then all of that coloration from her mom. And Alicia actually has not inherited the beak. She has not inherited the feet, 
but she has indeed inherited the wings. So Alicia too is going to take it to the sky. We have at least two in our flight crew, which makes me very happy. If I can find the wings, aha, there they are. All right, there you go, Alicia. Dove's beautiful, beautiful wings, which makes me very happy indeed. And then finally, we have Gotcha. So Gotcha, let's see what you got. Oh, a very deep voice. <gasps> Look at her, you guys. Look at that big old fluffy tail. All right, so Gotcha has actually inherited the beak. Does it work? It does not, so we'll resort to this beak. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Now she really does look like a little chicken, doesn't she? Like she's just gonna peck around on the ground for something. Perhaps stray dog treats. And she has not inherited the wings, but she has inherited the feet. So there we go. I actually really like her. She doesn't, like, she kind of reminds me sort of like a cross between an emu and a cow for some reason. <laughs> oh dear. But all right, guys, here we go. So that is what happens when you mix a hippogriff and a German shepherd. You end up with uh, some very unique looking dogs. I love it, actually. Jasmine, our flying German Shepherd with a beak. I really love the spindly little legs on Galaxy Space. And, uh, you know, like, Shade really... Shade looks like the most mythical out of them all, I think. And Alicia, Alicia is just gorgeous, too. Like, she looks like a dog that could be sleeping in a magician's house and just rise up from sleeping next to the crystal fireplace and be ready to go. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like to toss some treats to our wonderful animals. If you'd like to join me on this and many more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, guys. Bye, Jasmine.